guys welcome back to my channel first off i want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers and i want to apologize for not getting a video up this past week i have been swamped with things in my personal life and as you can see i am currently rocking a sew-in um, i have not had a sew-in in almost three years now um, and then the last sew in I had, I did not have any leave out. So I have some leave out right now because I am going to be doing a photo shoot um, next weekend for the company hair that I have in. I am going to give you a full detailed review coming soon. Um, I just, like I said, um, have not had a lot of time to get around to doing that. Um, I live in the South and in the South, in the summertime, it is very humid. No matter where you are, what time of day it is, if you go outside, your hair is going to frizz up. But I just wanted to give you a few tips and tricks as to what to do to blend your leave out with your extension. Me personally, I do not have leave out because I don't want to get any heat damage on my hair. So this style is temporary. Um, I am 100% natural. I have been 100% natural all of my life. Um, I never had a relaxer, but my hair at one point was heat trained. It is no longer heat trained, meaning as soon as I hit the door and it's humid outside or it's raining outside, if I have not taken precautionary measures, my hair is going to revert back to its curly state. I did not do this sew in. I had a local stylist. Who did my sew-in for me i don't mind doing sew-ins on other people i just prefer not to do them on myself this hair was sent to me for a review the hair has only been in for 24 hours so i probably am going to push that review back till next it's going to come up really close and please don't mind my edges um this is as good as i can get it i probably will put a little oil on them at some point but i need a miniature flat iron i have a um Babyless Pro, I think that's how you say it, or Nano Titanium Flat Iron with one and a half inch plates. Um, so it's really hard to get up to my edges and just really get them laid like I want to. I don't like to put edge control on straight hair because it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, edge control causes my hair to revert to a curly state. Stay tuned for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, any tips? or tricks that you would like for me to show you with this sew-in. Uh, I'll probably do like a nighttime routine and a wash day routine. And thanks again for tuning in. If you have not already subscribed, please make sure that you do so. Thumbs up this video for more hair tutorials and all things hair. And again, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so as you can see, my hair is a frizzy hot mess. Um, what you wanna do first is make sure that you separate your hair from the extensions. I'm just gonna take a clip and clip the hair out of the way so I can focus on my hair. And I'm gonna go in with my Thermal Creations Heat Protectant Spray by Tresemme. And I'm just gonna make sure I really spray my hair and work it in really well to protect my hair against the heat. And to give my hair a little shine, I am going to use my Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I just like to use this because it's a heavier oil and it helps to keep my hair a little straighter through the process. And today I'm going to use my Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Flat Iron that I got from Ulta. And I'm going to set the temperature to 375 degrees. This is my Holy Grail flat iron. This gets my hair straight with one pass through and it is just amazing. So I'm going to start on the side and um, what I like to do to make sure that my hair gets really straight is take my time. You don't want to pull the flat iron through too fast and I know right here it looks like I did um, because I sped it up quite a bit so we're not watching this in slow motion. Um, but you want to make sure you take your time because that will help cut down on the number of passes you have to do over your hair. Thank you. 
Another important tip is to make sure you're working in small sections. You can't expect to get your hair bone straight taking really, really big sections. So as you can see, like right here, I am parting these sections really small and this just ensures that the heat evenly touches all of the hair. And this clip is actually in real time. So as you can see, I'm really focusing on my roots and dragging this flat iron through nice and slow. And if you see any steam from this process, it is not my hair burning. I can assure you that it is the product that I added to my hair. So that castor oil and heat protectant spray. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat this process all over my leave out section. I'm going to speed it up and cut some clips out just because it's the same thing over and over. And I will come back to you once I have finished with the flat ironing process. Okay, so I'm back. I finished flat ironing all of my leave out. And now we want to make sure that our leave out and our extensions blend together. So a tip that I would suggest you do is take um, your leave out as well as a small portion of your extensions and flat iron those two sections together like I am doing right here. And I'm not really doing too much styling to my um, hair. The stylist who did my hair actually did a really nice job with styling. I'm just trying to really get those two sections um, to blend together. And as you can see here, flawless results. You cannot tell where my hair stops and where the extensions start. And that is what you want to happen when you have leave out with your extensions. Okay, and now I'm just repeating that process on the other side and making sure it all blends together. I'm doing a slight bump to the front bang area. Um, I did not get this hair cut because I am planning on making a wig out of it once I take my sew in out. Now the most important thing of all is to make sure that you cover your tracks. So I have a small handheld mirror that I'm going to use to look at the back of my head to ensure that I'm covering my tracks. You do not want anyone to be able to see where your tracks start because you did not take the time to cover your hair. So even if it takes you a little longer like I'm doing here to ensure that every single track is completely covered with my leave out. So that is pretty much all that I do to blend my hair. I'm just gonna bump a few more sections to make sure that it is extra flawless. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my hair, so I always go back and double check again and again. And I'm gonna go in with a small little drop of my Organics Argan Oil just for a little added shine. Um, I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channels, and leave any comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.